Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Formmaker add-on to export quizzes um, in either Kahoot format, quizzes format, Socrative or Quizalyze. So let's get started. I've got a spreadsheet over here where I've already used it to set up um, a question bank sheet and I have something like almost 500 questions in there. I selected them by putting a an X in the first column in the select column and up here it tells me that I've selected 27 questions um, with a total points value of 27. So these are the questions that are all about e-safety for my um, Key Stage 3 kids. To create, uh, to export these as in a format suitable for any of those uh, quiz platforms, I'm going to use the FormMaker add-on from the add-ons menu. Within FormMaker, there's a number of different add -on, um, different menus. The one I've used today is the Export Quizzes menu. So that opens this menu in the sidebar. You can get to the other menus there as well. There's a bit of advice on the menu help uh, page there. So to um, export these questions. You can specify in here of the total you've selected so far, how many you want to select. So I want this to be just 27. Or you can leave it blank if you want all the ones you've selected. You can specify a new sheet name if you're going to create a new sheet for this, or if you already have a sheet um, ready for them to go into, you can select it from the list here. So I'm going to start this with a Kahoot uh, eSafety. So I put the name in and just press the button. So the spinner tells you it's doing something. You'll see it doing something as well. It's quite quick, I think. And here you've got a sheet of the questions in the format that's in a format that's suitable for Kahoot. You can make some tweaks to this. Uh, you can change the time limit. I've defaulted to 20 seconds. You can change it to whatever. Um, just so you're clear about what this is doing. So here's the question. It limits it to a ma uh, maximum of 95 qu uh, characters. If, you, if your question has more than 95 characters, there'll be a message in this column telling you. And similarly, the, the answers are limited to 60 characters. And so if any of those are, are truncated, there'll be a message in this final column telling you so you can t check it and tweak it to make sure it fits. That's Kahoot's requirements, not mine. Um, over here in the final column, it tells you which answer, one, two, three, or four, is the correct answer. If there's more than one, one correct answer, it separates them with a comma. So once you're happy that your questions are OK, you can press this button to export this sheet in a, an XLS format. And that will spin for a couple of seconds and then, tell, and then stop when it's finished. So that has um, downloaded it to the same folder um, as, my, as the spreadsheet. And if I just refresh that, no, oh, we've already done it. It's there as the Kahoot eSafety quiz um, in XLS format. So then you can download that and upload it to Kahoot. So it's the same format whether you want to do Socrative um, quizzes or Quizalize. I'll just do each one just to show you what the format looks like. So on the Socrative one, it's um, the correct answers listed as either A, B, C, or D, or E. Um, and you can enter, you need to enter the name of the quiz there as well. And I put that in bright yellow to make it stand out. If I do quizzes next.
So that's quizzes format. Um, and then I want quizalize. You may have noticed going through this that a couple of these questions have five options or four wrong, wrong options. Um, Socrative and quizzes allow for that. Quizalize and Kahoot don't. So um, for Quizalize and Kahoot, I just drop the final option, or the final wrong option. Um, and I think that's everything. If you have any suggestions of other formats, it would be useful to export them in. Please let me know.